Attention new students, welcome to Marble Hill. I am Savannah, your Bridges Orientation Trip leader. Your other leader is getting the van. It will arrive in 10 minutes. Until then, you will sit in this room while I talk and you will listen. You have all selected the camping trip. On this trip, there will be no fornication. There will be no token the doobie. And there will certainly be no wandering off into the woods. What there will be? Friendship, smiles, bonding, physical contact, and lots of trees. On my orientation trip, we had one outfit. We woke up at 6 a.m. every morning. We spent all day in the dark and the damp. I was so cold. I thought this was the contact improv trip. Dude, I'm shaking right now. You wanna feel? No, I'd rather not. I just can't stop shaking, bro. I don't know how I'm gonna do a whole week without my Google. And it's not like they put that in an admissions book. Kids staring around in the blank space, no internet anywhere. <laughs> Listen, son, I think a week away from the web may actually make you smarter. <laughs> yeah, fair. It's just I knew I should have gone to Bennington. They have a maid service over there, you know. They do not have maid service at Bennington. No, yeah, they do, dude. It's like 20 Bridget Bardot's running around 24-7 over there. Bridget Bardot's like 80. I don't care. You know she's not into horse me, right? So? I just thought you should know. Thank you. If I ever run into 20 Bridget Bardot's, I'll keep my horse meat in the bed of my truck. Yeah, dude, so she's big into animal rights, not about that horse meat, and I just thought you should know, buddy. What the hell's your deal, son? You into horse meat or something? I'm into Wikipedia articles, bro. <sighs> Dang. I knew I should have gone to Bennington. They got all that bandwidth over there. What? I need your help. Can a sad but extremely handsome man ever find time alone to himself? It'll take like two minutes, tops. Please, listen, it's important. <sighs> okay, what is it? It's just, I did my tarot cards in the bathroom and it freaked me out. Look, I know I only met you like two hours ago, but we're both transfer students, so that makes us like connected. Hmm, far out. This is a life or death situation. The cards say that everyone on this trip, and that includes you, We'll die. We're leaving in ten minutes. No, listen! No! You fucking listen! You take your cues from gypsy cardboard on the floor of a public toilet. You want me to think you're not crazy? I'm just trying to save us. <sighs> okay. What did your little cards tell you? Thank you. What did they say? We're gonna get sliced and diced by some super baked lumberjack. Sounds tasty. I'll bring the onions and carrots. You're making fun of me! Absolutely nothing is going to happen on this trip. Nothing at all. But the tarot cards say- Do you even know how to read the tarot cards? Of course! It's just that the unexpected hospitality card looks almost exactly like the murdered by a lunatic card, and they're not labeled or anything. You're insane, Reba, even if you are a transfer student. There's a loophole. Oh! Well, thank God! All we have to do is strip from our clothes, burn them, and bathe in the blood of a cow. A virgin cow. We're going on a hike in the woods. Cow's gonna be hard to find. And, I mean, you know when virgin cows go into heat? It's like nine months old. That would be a tall order. Then I don't know. Actually, it's okay. You had me sold at burn our clothes. I've had a thing for burning shit ever since I saw a fireman pull one of those hoses out of the trucks they drive around. A fire truck? Yep, that's the one.
fucking shit. I, I would, but I just have these big old knees. You ever comb that hair, girl? Don't touch me. Shit! There's something wrong with the van. Did I hear you right? Is there something wrong with the van? Uh, it just needs a little rest, that's all. It'll be fine. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Lumberjack! <laughs> <laughs>